All right, hello and welcome to another Expert Insight interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine and Pipeliner CRM. Joining you as usual from a sunny San Diego. And today I'm delighted to be joined by Dr. Daniel, who is up in Halifax. Is that Nova Scotia? Sure is. Yeah, Halifax, Nova Scotia. How are you doing, Dr. Daniel? Good. And for those of you that don't know, Halifax, Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia, Canada. I'm doing good. It's a bit colder over here than it is over there, I imagine. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, I'd say, although we haven't had a great year here, but uh, as I learned uh, when I moved to San Diego, nobody nobody cares to hear you complain about the weather in San Diego. So. <laughs> not worth Especially talking. not us. <laughs> <laughs> Especially not Canadians. Exactly. And uh, Dr. Dan, you were, you were a seasoned dentist, 25 years of experience with an, a passion for educating and empowering professionals. Uh, you, towards the end of your career in dentistry, you focused on education, coaching, and consulting. And now you've parlayed this and transitioned it into cryptocurrency investment coaching. And that's what we're going to talk about today is just understanding crypto investing. So to start with, uh, Dr. Danny, can you kind of baseline it for some people? Because as I was saying to you before we came on air, a lot of people have you know maybe vague information about crypto because maybe they're not investing or maybe they bought a couple of bitcoins or fractions of bitcoins way back and and all they seen all they hear is volatility some people saying oh this is this is never going to work in the long run other people saying this is the future so just kind of baseline it a little bit for for maybe the yeah. un, uninitiated for sure, for sure. I'll do my best and feel free to uh, ask for clarification if, if you feel is a little bit off. But crypto, when I got into crypto, I mean, one of the difficult things about crypto, learning it on your own can be incredibly overwhelming. And if you ask 10 different people how to make money in crypto, you might get 50 different answers, mm -hmm. right? So starting there, what I did was I looked at all the different ways you can invest in crypto and, you know, look at NFTs and memes or, you know, mining and, and, and farming and, and, and DeFi. There's a ton of different stuff. What I landed on as a busy professional, as a former dentist um, who lived in that world my entire life revolved around my practice, and understanding that as a busy professional, I had very limited time, energy, and effort to put into things outside of my practice. Um, so what I landed on was one particular niche within crypto, what I term bull run investing. And just to break it down and make it really, really simple, the thing is about bull run investing, it would be similar to investing in the stock market. The nice thing is most people know what the stock market is, and they're quite comfortable with the concept of the stock market. So we're going to use that, and we're going to start there. So, John, if the stock market crashed tonight, and you call me up tomorrow, and you go, hey, Daniel, you know, let's buy some stuff, because as your clients know, or as our listeners know, if the stock market crashed, everything goes down in value. And we're yeah. going to look at the projects and the companies we believe in. So, you know, I love my iPhone, so I might look at Apple. I'm a big, you know, a Tesla fan. I might buy Tesla. I might buy Meta. I might buy Google and be like, oh, I don't like, you know, uh, Samsung. I'm not going to yeah. buy that. Well, I'll buy the things I like and I believe in, and then I'll wait. And after one year, two years, three, four years, stock market recovers, the values goes up, and then we sell. And the difference between where we sold them at and where we bought them at is our profit. Does that make sense? Mm. That makes complete sense, yeah. And bull run investing in crypto is exactly the same. Now, I want, what I want you to do is think about when you look at all these letters in crypto, BTC, XRP, ADA, ETH, forget it. Think about uh, uh, the tickers in the stock market. Just like in the stock market, if you want to buy Apple, it's AAPL, right? And those four letters represent the, uh, the, 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 the company in the stock market. Think of letters in crypto representing the project in crypto. So right. let's start there. Okay, so number two, you also want to understand something in crypto that we don't have in the stock market is it's a cyclical cycle. Approximately every four years, something quote unquote magical happens, right? And it's not magical. There's a lot of technical explanation. I'm not going to bear down sure. our listeners to getting with, but approximately every four years, a tremendous amount of money comes into crypto. The values of things go way up. It's called a bull run. Yeah. Right. They go way, way up. And then after the bull run, which can last anywhere from three to six months to 12 to even 18 months long, you know, people pull their money out. And then there's a long bear cycle or a bear market, which lasts a few years. So, you know, when I talk about bull run investing, what I teach busy professionals, business owners and entrepreneurs to do is to get set up and then to buy the projects that we believe in, that we believe will do really well during the 
bull run, mm -hmm. but buy them during the bear cycle or at the end, very, very, very low. And then as the bull cycle kicks in and they go up and it's not like the stock market, man, they yeah. go up astronomically. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going up 5X, 10X, 20X, 50X, 100X. And, and, and relatively quickly too, right? Oh, like ridiculously fast. So we're kind of coming on the edge of this bull run. Everyone in crypto is incredibly excited. We don't know how long it's going to last. The experts are telling us, you know, it could probably go to uh, uh, Q2 next year, but by the end of Q2, it might fizzle. Or traditionally, based on the statistics, it should go right up until the end of next October, statistically speaking from the history. So the right. cool thing about crypto is nobody knows exactly, but we all have a good idea. So, so, what, what's kind of, so, yeah, so right ahead. now, what kind of a market are we in? We're just edging into the bull right now. We're right. just edging into it. In America, oh, you are in America, right? Yeah. The presidential election is a pretty big catalyst in what should happen. And again, John, what I do is I consume a tremendous amount of information within the industry, and I watch all sort of like the experts and the leaders mm -hmm. in the field. So people say, hey, are you a guru? And I'm not a guru or an expert or a prodigy, but I consume a tremendous amount of information. I, I, I process it, and then I give you – people the consensus of what most people believe should happen so if trump wins what's going to look like is a pretty big catalyst within crypto for bitcoin ethereum and all the alternative coins to go up a lot and that's really really big if if harris wins what they expect is a pullback and then a recovery to go up because harris isn't anti-crypto she's still more pro regulation which will mean mm -hmm. the more regulated cryptos do well but in either scenario it's going to do well but one will kind of go right up and the other one should be a, a v a v-shaped pullback down right. and then straight back up um and that's what we're expecting so clients that are getting in now are getting in at the perfect time because any time in the next six to you know, in my opinion, between now and next summer, my opinion being the, you know, uh, consensus yep. uh, is a good time because you can capitalize on these massive runs getting in and then getting out. Mm -hmm. And and like you said there, you're looking at the different options like stocks. So you're saying, OK, maybe I'm going to go I'm going to go Bitcoin. I'm going to go Ethereum or I'm going to go NFT, what, whatever it is. Are they are they all at the same stage right now? Uh, no, no, they, yes and no, it's not, it doesn't work that way within crypto. You know, you have your big ones, your Bitcoin and your Ethereum, mm -hmm. Bitcoin's like gold, Ethereum's like silver, Solana's up there. They kind of have their own sort of arena. Then you have these other ones that are in categories or narratives. So you might have like a bunch of, uh, uh crypto projects that are in AI and ones right. that are in gaming, ones that are in different sort of uh, narratives, they're called narratives or categories, right? So generally what happens during a bull run is it won't be a single project, it'll be the narrative that catches fire. So when AI catches, a lot of the projects within the AI will go up, 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 people will make a ton of money, then they'll go, what's next? And then the next narrative, when it catches fire, a lot of those projects will go up. So money kind of rolls not only downhill uh, from the bigger project to the smaller projects, from big caps to medium caps to low caps to micro caps, it also goes from narrative to narrative to narrative as well. So what would you advise somebody as a good as a good starting but like somebody was listening to this and coming cold to it what would be a good starting point? Well, I mean, number one, educate yourself, educate, yeah. educate, educate, because education is power, especially in crypto knowledge is power. Number two, you know, if you need support education, I do offer, uh, I have a really cool 20, 22 minute free training video. I'm happy to send people. It gives them really sort of like the nuts and bolts. However, if someone's already set up, they have a centralized exchange, it's like, okay, I kind of know what I'm doing. Well, I mean, you're not going to go wrong buying the big three, Bitcoin, yeah. Ethereum, and Solana. Those ones are fantastic. If you're looking for bigger returns there's uh you know some really cool plays i'd say look at gaming gaming right now is very undervalued that narrative and there's a lot of plays within ga gaming that are going to give you great returns ai is tough because it popped a lot but still it had a good pullback and the projects are still going to do really well these are pretty pretty big um, it's pretty big narratives. They're, they're, people are excited about those. The yeah. other ones you can look into are RWAs, which are real world assets, D-PIN. Uh, you can look at some layer ones too, which aren't going to do well. I know I'm speaking a bit technical, but these are sure. for people within the industry, right? Mm -hmm. One of the cool things I do in my program is I actually give people uh, what I call the golden list. And the golden list is, you know, the, you know, plays that the experts consider 
will do the absolute best this upcoming bull that can be bought through what's called a centralized exchange. And see, John, yeah. when you get into crypto and you're talking about centralized exchange and decentralized exchange, hot wallets and all this, it gets really, really crazy. So what I do when I work with my clients is I try to simplify it because the people I work with, they don't have time to mess around. So, mm -hmm. you know, my, my, my education program is fast. It's one week long on day eight, you're investing, but after you're set up on day eight, it literally takes five to 10 minutes a day to check in. Right. That's it. And, and even less some days, there's nothing mm -hmm. to it. It's all about the setup. So if you set yourself up properly and you understand what you want to buy, when to buy it, how to buy it, where to buy it, it actually is painfully simple. And this is one of the really, really hard things to understand in crypto is when I was standing on the outside trying to look in as a busy dentist, I like my buddy in Calgary, which is just north of Montana, he murdered it in crypto. He made a killing. And it took him five years of bothering me to get right. me to actually say five years of, yeah. and, and, and he took two bull runs and I'm talking, he took, you know, six and seven figures out of the market five years before I said, okay, let me try to understand this. Right. Because right. it's just so foreign. Mm -hmm. It's just this weird, like, oh my God, what is it? Is it real? Is it abstract? And I hear so much noise. And I think the only thing I would say when learning about crypto, cut out the noise, cut out the distraction, get hyper-focused right. on the one area that works for you in your lifestyle and you can do well. I'm not talking like, oh, we're going to try to like play the gamble and make a thousand mm -hmm. to one returns. My clients aren't looking for high risk. My, it is crypto, which is inherently yes. considered a high risk asset, but we look at it as an investment vehicle. We're just looking at the best assets, the best plays, how to conservatively invest and make a massive amount of money in a short amount of time with as much control as possible. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, that makes complete sense. Uh, maybe explain exchanges to people a little bit because I'm mean, sure people have heard about them and, and they're confused because I think that's part of it when people start, to, and this is why courses like yours are so important, is because when people go, okay, I want to get into this now, what, what exchange do I go on? How do I do this? Which is the best one? Can I trust this one, et cetera? Even what is an exchange? Yeah, How about why don't we just start there, right? Yeah, because yeah. people get right into hot wallets and cold wallets and all these things. Mm -hmm. and I'm telling everybody, you do not need a hot wallet. You do not need to go that route. Let's just keep it really simple. So today, if I wanted to buy uh, stocks in the stock market. The way I do it is I go to my bank account, which I have registered with a bank, and yeah. then I, I, I buy from my bank account into what I want to buy, Tesla, Google, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's similar in crypto. What a centralized exchange is, is a crypto bank account. And just like opening up a real bank account, you have to go through all the same steps. You need your identification. The crypto bank account has to be legitimate within your country. So America has its own, Canada has its mm -hmm. own, UK has their own. Sometimes it's the same one, can service different company, uh, countries, sometimes they can't. So you have to go there with your ID and you have to fill up an application. It doesn't cost anything, but then they process it. They go through their security stuff. They go, okay, we've now opened you up a bank account within the crypto world called a centralized exchange. And then the flow of money then becomes moving funds from your bank account through your visa or through a wire or through an agent. There's many different ways onto that centralized exchange, then that's your funds are called fiat. That just means your local currency. Then yep. you exchange that for an equivalent. Usually you exchange it for what's called a stable coin, which is just the crypto US dollar equivalent to mm -hmm. an American dollar. So if yeah, I put the USDT, is that, that's right. Yeah, there's a couple of them, USDT, USDC. So if I yeah. put 10,000 Canadian online, I have to buy USDT and I might get like six or 7,000 in USDT, just six mm -hmm. or 7,000 American dollars yep. in the crypto world. And then you start, then you can use that to buy a uh, uh, Bitcoin. You might buy a thousand dollars worth. They call it trading or swapping, but you, you know, you're, you're on your centralized exchanges mm -hmm. like your bank. And you go, I want a thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin. You hit it, changes your thousand dollars for, in this case, one sixty eighth of a Bitcoin, right? And that's how much Bitcoin you get for a thousand dollars. And then you know, and then there's many different ways to go, but, you know, but you can just simply keep it there and wait for Bitcoin to do its thing during this bull run. You know, it's predicted to get to 100 to 150,000, right? It might break its all time high in the next few weeks before the election, right? But you can wait till it does its thing. And at that point, you've got different options. You can sell everything. You can take out your initial thousand, let the rest ride. You know, there's a lot of people who are Bitcoin enthusiasts. We're going to watch it, who watch it go up. 
and down every cycle and they never sell because they think and believe and a lot of people do believe long term you know bitcoin itself could be worth you know way in the hundreds up to about a million dollars down the road mm -hmm. so a lot of people aren't really riding the bulls there and yeah. the bears they're sorry a lot of people aren't in you know investing in and out they're literally riding the whole cycle forever my clients what i teach them always take profit we're in it for the bull run we're going to yeah. get in we want to make as much money as we can and then we want to get out uh so for me by you know the end of this bull run i'll probably be 95 percent plus exited from the from the market and you know use my wealth to do whatever real estate travel whatever it is i want to spend it on um but i'm not you know going to be in there forever to me it's just when i look at you know business opportunities yeah. franchises real estate stock markets you know this is to me the most powerful fastest investment possible to double triple five times my money within the shortest amount of possible and that's why i'm so bullish and excited about it and i'm so excited when i teach people john like i have school teachers on day eight investing it is yep. it's incredible because learning it on my own was a nightmare but i've taken everything i've learned and i just cut through all the noise i give you the essentials and i walk people in rapid time two one hour sessions one mm -hmm. week apart with a full-time support i do offer full you need full time so, and all the resources it's like a done for you program yeah. but on day eight day eight people are further ahead than i was after six months wow that's amazing and and what are some of the uh what are some of the the feedback that you get from your students oh just uh the ones that invest in stocks are in disbelief when i pull back the current and they look at return after return and this isn't stuff i make up i mean mm -hmm. i could easily pull up uh, charts right now and show you 20 examples that would blow your mind if you're investing in the stock market you're like this isn't possible it is very possible let's talk about the people who i don't work with let's talk about yep. Them for a second. I over 80% of my calls are people who have been scammed or robbed mm. in crypto. So let's talk about that because I think that's even more powerful. You right. know, the only message I would give our, our listeners do, do not give your money to anybody. If you give your money to anybody, you will never see it again. You will never see it again. No chance ever. And the schemes are elaborate. And the ruse, I've done long form uh, video on YouTube. I've got three part series about how to get robbed in crypto. All right. the, and I don't even cover, like, I don't hit all the different ways. I have mm -hmm. like, there's a lot of different ways, but people are out there looking to target busy people with income and they sell them the dream. And, they, and they're very, and these are intelligent people who get robbed. They're not unintelligent people because of the, the the scams are very elaborate so you know i'm talking twenty thousand fifty thousand four hundred thousand oh every day between twenty and a hundred thousand generally is the normal and i got people up to four hundred thousand have lost uh throughout these scams the other thing is and are, these, are these scams like they're people acting as brokers is it yeah, they act as brokers. They sell them the dream. Give me five. Give me a thousand, John. And then mm -hmm. next week, I pull you up on a virtual. Your dashboard, your name, and all of a sudden, the thousand is eighteen hundred. And I show you everything. I'm like, give me another thousand. Now your two thousand is five thousand. Next thing you know, you're doubling down. You're tripling down. And by the time you try to take some money out, and they give you, oh yeah, of course you can take your money out, John. But it's going to cost us fifteen hundred dollars in admin fees and this. You're like, well, oh, just deduct it from my profits. Oh, that's not the way the system works yeah, yeah, yeah. you send the money then there's another excuse and by the time you figured it out you're in for so much money it's terrifying now the other thing let's clarify too is the difference between trading and investing and this mm -hmm. is where people get really really confused and a lot of people get i don't want to say sucked in because i don't want to say anybody's sinister in the trading world sure. but a lot of people get convinced trading is the way to go trading is and crypto is like day trading in the stock market. Yeah. It's a full time job with years of knowledge necessary, years of learning how to read the chart to be a technical analysis. And it's completely fantastic if somebody wants to spend a few years and learn and then do it, great. If people, what's happening in crypto is they're paying for these uh, trading groups. And I have yet to meet one person who has made a fraction of the money my clients have made 
trading and they're spending so much time they have to be glued and it's all these things it's like well if somebody was actually trading and had cracked the code to a profitable system that system would be worldwide we'd all be doing it every i would be doing it too if it's just as easy I, as like send me a signal but yeah. but they pay a fortune for this and it goes nowhere and i tell everyone if you need to do trading you believe in it go for it but mm -hmm. my clients the people i work with you know generally have some money to invest nothing under i need at least 10k to invest if you're going to do my programs and stuff yeah. because you need to be able to cover the cost of the program and still do well and you know don't have all day and don't want to learn a trade they have a trade they have a job they're just tired of watching their stocks do nothing in the stock market or fight mm -hmm. for 10 percent when you know my clients are doubling and tripling in you know 30 to 60 days it's 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 yeah. just anyways it's a different world but it's a fun sexy world for me like getting out of dentistry which was i love dentistry and but slow and but that's boring. Yeah, it's yeah, like pulling ahead. teeth, really, isn't it? Oh my God! Yeah, John, that's sorry. I couldn't. No, I couldn't. You I can't resist it. No, you had to. I, I, I don't blame you for doing it, but it is worse than that. Pulling teeth, you know, is can be exciting. Not that I did that part of it, but, um, but yeah, man, it's fun, and you know, I, I like it because it's crisp. But also, you know, too, John, there's another angle to it too. Mm -hmm. If we want to get, you know, away from hey, the monetization of crypto, just the actual principle. You know, and when people talk about crypto to really back it up, it's just the concept of centralization versus decentralization. That really is the core of crypto. And to put that into English for, for our listeners, you know, think of it like this. In Canada, a few years ago, the uh, truckers went on strike. Yeah. national strike right so canadians as we're good people you know just like americans we want to support our truckers we donated money to them some people it's their family and friends and other people are just people who are yeah. sympathize with their mm -hmm. plight they donated money the canadian government froze the accounts of people who donated to these truckers froze their bank accounts which means you cannot access your money your visa and that to me was shocking yeah. yet absolute slap in the face that i needed to say hey man times are changing you know the world being centralized people being able to control my entire life savings yeah. with their own flick of a switch and i can't access my own money yeah. that i've worked for that it's, it's it's in a bank that that they said no we've decided you don't get to access your money and i said okay that's nuts because the crypto world works on decentralization Nobody owns your assets but you. Now, there's a caveat. When we invest using a centralized exchange, the exchange itself is centralized like a bank. We have to understand that. Yeah. I have advanced courses. We don't do it in the, in the first course. In advanced courses, which say, hey, we understand you may not want to leave it there. Here's how to get it off of these centralized exchanges into your wallets, cold wallets, hot wallets, into better storage that you're in complete control. So I teach people how to, how to buy their own a, 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 their own vir a, a virtual safe and store their assets in their safe so securely that nobody in the world can ever touch it but that wow yeah i mean that's such a that's such a great example and and and, and a great lesson for people that the future i think uh you know control and regulation is only going to get worse so uh so yeah you got to look for alternatives well listen uh dr dan this has been fantastic this time has flown by and i know we've only just scratched the surface of it uh <laughs> But be, uh, before we go, please do tell people just a little bit more about your course and, and what you offer. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the easiest thing, just reach out to me. Uh, send me an email, daniel at emcdental.ca dental because i'm a dentist dot mm -hmm. ca because i'm in canada emc dot ca but my program is really geared towards you know anyone busy i say busy professionals entrepreneurs and busy owners uh, business uh, business owners but anybody who's busy who's investing in the stock market that's just tired of the returns my program is 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 is, is probably the most effective of its kind it's the only one in the world because it's live i teach it live it's not canned you don't do it yourself basically you sign up i give you all the resources on a discord don't worry about what discord is it's really easy i basically give you every the entire setup i jump on one hour for a group i go through everything from a to z i give you a little bit of homework which is basically open up your bank accounts your crypto exchanges a little bit of homework a week later i go through everything for another hour right and then at the end of that you're fully set up to start investing then i support you for three weeks after that full-time via discord answering all your questions recording videos 
doing everything. I give you the list. It's a done for you program, so it removes all the thinking. The setup is is all pre done for you. You just basically follow the instructions. What you if you want to pick what I buy, I give you all my entries: what to buy, where to buy it, how to buy it, when to buy it. And we mm -hmm. also talk about selling because believe it or not, some of my clients have rode crypto into the millions and then down again into the tens yeah. of thousands. Yeah, and it's yeah. very common if you're not being coached or you're not um, experienced in this, when you start to make crazy amounts of money, and I'm talking when your tens of thousands turn into hundreds and your hundreds turn into millions, people get terrified of selling and they mm -hmm. don't sell. And they go up and they go down. And this is how, so part of my program involves really sort of like beating it into us we sell on the way up. We never try to time the bottom. You never try to time yeah. the top. We're not greedy. We just want to make a lot of money and we want to get out and use that money in the real world to make our lives better. Yeah, that's some fantastic. Well, listen, thank you so much. All of Dr. Daniel's information will be below this video. Uh, so you can you can learn more. I encourage you if you're going to get into this field, um, go go find an expert like Dr. Daniel and learn from them. You can save yourself a lot of heartache. Uh, I think we could probably spend an hour going through horror stories of, of people, as you said, people scam people who just have tried to do it on their own. Um, even though know, somebody tried to set up a, we didn't even go into this, is a crypto mining operation until they discovered how expensive <laughs> yeah. and how difficult that was. Yeah. So listen, thanks, thanks again, uh, Dr. Daniel. Thank you for watching and listening, and I will see you all again very soon.